I know how excited you are. I am. I'm so darned excited. I can't believe it. It's fall. It's fall. And this is seated at your glass of wine. But today, because it's early, we are having, I'm having a tangerine dream kombucha. And I'm having orange juice with nutritional, nutritional yeast. yeast. They both look identical. Mm. 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 I like that. You know, I've just gotten into kombucha about six months ago. Mm -hmm. I absolutely adore it now. I like, well, I like most of the flavors. I'm not a ginger person, so if it's too ginger forward, I won't drink yeah, it. But, but we found a few that, yeah. that you like. The berry ones, the mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, citrus fruit. Yeah. Yeah. So we're awfully happy you're here today, are we? It's good. Yeah. To, it's good to see you. But we're most happy it's fall. We are so <laughs> We keep hanging on in the mid 80s though, but it's the sun is softer and the heat doesn't stay around too long. Yeah, and, only an hour or two and, and then it gets cool. The trees, the color hasn't started to come on really yet, but I don't think we're gonna get the intense reds and yeah, probably uh, ambers and yellows that we get because it's been so warm and we need a cold snap to break yeah. that. But Yeah, you know, there's, um. Uh, there's a road uh, down the way from us and every year he kind of judges the fall foliage by the street you know mm -hmm. the one that you go and he, he will look down there and he'll say oh, I don't know it's not quite right yet yeah. but sometimes it's just uh, we have some beautiful and when you drive out to the coast going through the forests out there you have the oh, yeah. the blend of the evergreens that are so dark and then you have all that gorgeous gold and red and all that up against it yeah. oh, yeah, I, I'd match our falls up against New England falls. Oh, that's saying a lot. Yeah, I know, but that's they're beautiful. Lot. Well, okay. our, oh, sorry, honey. We were out. We went to a farm store the other day, and uh, out in the country, and Oregon farm country has got to be so beautiful. It's, pretty. it's not like, you know, nothing wrong with the Midwest. Don't. don't oh, we send, love people in the don't Midwest. Don't send me nasty letters, but the Midwest tends to be flatter. Where Oregon farm country has got a lot of hills and contours and yeah. and uh, evergreens, you know, interspersed around. It's really beautiful. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. All right. So, so what's been happening this week in Jill for today? Well, I have a list here, but I'll tell you what, it's pretty chaotic. He says, do you have she a list? She called it lame. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, he's right. We did go to a, uh, a little farm stand and we picked up. We did. We picked up acorn squash. We picked up a nice, beautiful pumpkin. We picked up a few little little pumpkins. Those are to decorate. Acorn squash, butternut squash, which is his favorite, and uh, some del delicata, del delicata, delicata. And I have a full. I like delicatessen. I, I don't know. I tell you what, I've got a, I've got a list here. This is the list of videos. I told you I had like 17 or 18 of them. Now, that you want to do. That I've got, yeah, I want to do. I promise you, I want to do them. Today though, I am fixing for us a very tasty dinner. It is stuffed bell peppers with a wild rice mix mm -hmm. and some of that wonderful uh, impossible savory sausage. Mm. It's going to be very that good with good. some cheese on top. Would you like me to do a video of that? I don't know. Would you like to do a video of that? <laughs> she starts out with such great intentions, and then she tires out during the day. Well, I did a, I did a um, uh, shepherd deacon. We called it a deconstructed shepherd's pie, and really, it was very good. I had roasted potatoes in the uh, air fryer, little chunks, and then I had some carrots, which were from my freezer. So were the potatoes. And if you want to go up there, there is a two videos. I'll leave links. One, how to fry, uh, how to fry, how to freeze potatoes, and how to freeze carrots. And I pulled those out of my freezer because I was in a hurry, didn't want to go to all that stuff. So I used the potatoes, which I threw in the air fryer, and I had the carrots, which were already cut up and ready to throw in there. So it was uh, some Trader Joe's vegan um, hamburger, ground beef, whatever you want to call it. The carrots and the potatoes, peas. Which were also frozen. Which were also frozen. From the store. What else was in there? Was that onions, garlic? And then the piece de resistance, gravy. 
He loves that brown gravy. So he had brown gravy. I mixed it Vegan in there. Vegan brown gravy. And it, it was good. Yeah. And I was going to do it on camera. And I, he did. He's right. I, You know, I really think I do pretty well. Mm -hmm. I, I, a lot of you know I have uh, multiple myeloma cancer. And, it, and I'm on chemotherapy. I don't like to keep throwing that in. But there are some people who may watch that don't know that. And really, towards the end of the day, I start to get tired. In fact, the day I went to make that was the day of my chemotherapy, mm -hmm. which was a mistake. It was delicious, though. Let's put it that way. It was really good. Okay, yeah. we're going to move on here. So we went to the farm stand. <laughs> I digress. And we got all this great stuff. And I have all these recipes that are ready to go that have butternut squash, pumpkin, Acorn squash. Oh, he's so excited. Look at that face. Now, how about the butternut squash? I mean, every place you go, if you try and find a vegan restaurant, it's always butternut squash this, butternut squash that. Usually ravioli. Yeah, raviolis. We love raviolis. Trader Joe's makes some killer spinach raviolis, oh, so vegan. Good. Cheese and excellent. Okay. Yeah. All right, the crunchy bug situation. As you <laughs> last time we talked, we have crunchy bugs, and he went to the store and got crunchy bug spray. He nuked that deck. I did my uh, full, uh, full. I don't know. Uh, Combat. Yeah, I put on a long sleeve shirt. I put on gloves. I put on a watch cap, and I went out there. Mask, fully masked. Got up on a ladder, sprayed everywhere, and. It's it's working. Oh, it's working. You know, the guy at the hardware store said, "You got to spray right on them. You got to get them to open your mouth in order to kill them because they have this hard shell on the outside. And unless it says on the bottle that it'll keep you bug free for 12 months, well." And, and he so. said to me, the guy said, "You know, you really have to spray them." And he said something about the the mouth being open of the right. And I said, are you supposed to stay out there all day and every time you see one of those bugs, you're supposed to hit it? I will say we are we don't use insecticides for the really for the most part, unless it's really something serious. And it's this is serious to me. Yeah, the bugs have as much right to live as we do, but not on my deck. Not, not in our house either. And those those guys work their way through the screens and they come inside the house and she freaks. We're looking at, this is our construction zone. We have a, an update on that. So he, he sprayed for those. Uh, it looks like it's helping. We're going to be able to enjoy some more deck time before the weather changes. And it is changing. Uh, yep. One more back to fall thing. The only, here's when I know it's really fall. It's fruit fly season. Fruit fly we season. move from oh. crunchy bug season to fruit fly season and the way i know is when i have my signature glass of wine and all of a sudden i say which she has every day well i do <laughs> there's a fruit fly and i know okay it's fruit fly season it means it's officially fall so we're not there yet well we've seen one fruit fly okay moving on okay 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 got that uh, okay you got can that. see how exciting our lives are fruit flies crunchy bugs okay update on the construction zone yeah. Yeah, it's a mess. They messed up big time last night. Oh, they did. It's a construction zone. They have big uh, earth excavating equipment yeah. out there. They have giant holes mm -hmm. dug in the ground. They have all kinds of... What other kind of holes would you have? Small you said, holes. I you said, said dug, giant holes. You said dug in, in the, the ground. ground. Well, you could dig a hole in uh, the street. That'd be a hole dug in uh, Macadam or something. You see what my life is like? I can't, I don't know why I bothered to Dug talk. Dug in the ground. Go ahead. I have nothing to say. <laughs> anyway. Tell, tell me about the faux pas. Last night, or yesterday afternoon actually, everybody leaves and they leave the gates wide open. Open to this construction site all night long. Yeah. And I called the emergency number but it's, there's only usually maybe, what, four or five guys out there at a time. Yeah. Yeah, six maybe at the most. Uh, and uh, they were, no nobody was there. It got very Not quiet. And I said, you know, there's nobody out there. And it's like 6.30, 7 o'clock. And I'm thinking, this is not, this is dangerous. A child could come by or somebody sabotaging, really. Yeah, I, mean, I went outside, climbed up on a wall, looked all around. Nobody there, no vehicles, no motion, nothing. Okay. And we called, but never heard anything more. And as far as we know, the gate stayed open all night. 
Okay, I'm looking through my list here. Um, okay, I have a lot. Of, we've talked about ad nauseum. I have a lot of cooking things coming up. Um, the first ones up are caramel corn. I've had requests on that. Baked squash with rice. Again, that's kind of the. It's kind of a riff on the um, peppers that I'm doing tonight, but it's very fall, very different. Caramel corn. Caramel corn. What about it? Yeah, yeah. You said it was a riff on the. No, no riff. I know the baked squash with rice, with cranberries and all I'm that. Just don't. Attention. Just move on. I'm doing a, a enchilada casserole. I don't like making enchiladas because they kind of. I love enchiladas. It does. They kind of break down. So you know what I mean. They the the. the they crack and break, so I'm going to do a layered enchilada casserole. Scallop when I was a kid growing up in San Francisco, there used to be a big amusement park right out at the ocean yeah. called Playland at the Beach. And inside or on the exterior of it was a restaurant called the Hot House. And it was like Bolivian or Peruvian. Peruvian. But they served a lot of Mexican style dishes. And we used to go there and get enchiladas. Their enchiladas were nothing special. They were a tortilla wrapped with a uh, meat mixture in there. But the sauce they put I never got was it. so good. When we get takeout, we'd always get an extra quart or so of sauce just to smear over the enchiladas and the beans. beans. Yeah. I never got it. Oh, I it never so got good. it. I mean, it was okay, but I never got it. Um, Anyway, so no, I'm telling you what. And the enchilada casserole will be for two people. The scalloped potatoes will be for two people. What can you expect from a woman who speaks with her hands, huh? Okay. Um, anyway, so I'm doing it again. So anyway. Um, so anyway. <laughs> Go ahead. You're doing great. So anyway. <laughs> I have this wonderful friend named Stephanie, Stephanie's Kitchen, and I will leave a link down below. She's, I just love this woman. She is awesome. She cooks some really great food. Some of it is, uh, you know, things that we, we desire to eat. Some of them are meat-based, but she does an amazing job with cooking. And um, she does a live cooking show every Sunday, and she does a dinner. And I admire her so much because, you know what, the camera just rolls. Yeah. It just, oh, what? It's worth tuning in just to see her kitchen counter. She's got every appliance known to man out on her counter. This woman loves appliances. Anyway, she does this video where she or live uh, where she just lets the camera roll and you know what's ever going on in the kitchen. And I thought about doing one of those. Whatever you want. What do you think? Whatever you want. Well, what do they think? I don't know. I don't know what I think. How I'm am I thinking supposed about to know doing one. Think? I'm thinking about doing one, maybe on a Saturday or a Friday or something, where uh, you know I could do one and we could just see how it goes. Anyway, we will. I could do that. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of that. But I will. I will give a, a shout out. I did give a shout out to Stephanie, and I will put her link down below because I just love her. I just love her. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, um, movies. Oh, God, sorry. Don't movies. We have. Have we seen any movie? Well, we did see one. We It was a Prime, so it was a free if you have Prime membership. It was called A Love Song. Mm -hmm. And I would say, people want re reviews, book and movie reviews. And I would say this was a bittersweet story. Yeah. I, I never use that word lightly, I think, but this Slow, was... Slow, no excitement. <gasps> oh, yeah, no I guess No action, no. no sex. No. Uh, no bad language. No. It was a, a very interesting story about two people, or one woman, maybe majority of, mm -hmm. yeah. And it was, um, if you have a chance to see it, it's a... Like it's a, a sleeper. It is a sleeper. I think it's an indie film, you know, or indie independent film. Uh, very low budget. And the greatest part is they came to the actors and said, do you want to be in a movie? You don't really have to act or say much for two hours and they said sure well certainly yeah they yeah. Uh, anyway we're throwing that out there it was interesting it was very interesting it's called a love story and it's on prime and i don't know whether you can get it anywhere else um i gotta scratch that off were there any other movies that we saw this week movies mm -hmm. nah <laughs> we are continuing our vendor 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 bulk vendor volk on is that a masterpiece masterpiece or Prime? Yeah. masterpiece that you get through prime it's a, an app and shetland shetland yeah we love shetland don't 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 okay don't don't we love shetland don't i don't know why i bother to speak 
just don't speak that. Yeah. It's a great series. She's got her hand up my back and just moves my mouth. <laughs> It's very good. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you've been watching it, it's on season seven. And we're getting that through Masterpiece, mm -hmm. I think, too. And Miss Scarlet and the Duke oh, is coming back. Oh, they start up yeah, next month. Fun. How fun that is. I don't know if Vienna Blood is coming back or not. I don't know. Doc Martin should be coming along soon. Mm -hmm. But movies, I'm not sure whether we... Oh, I know what we saw. Uh, or at least we started to watch... Again, why did we turn it off? The one about the air... The um, Hang on. The oil rig. Oh. Uh, deep. Deep water. Deep, deep water, water horizon. Deep water horizon. Deep water. Whatever it is. Yeah. It's a good one. It's action packed. Yeah, it is. And if you haven't seen it, check it out. I. It's on FX or something. Whatever. Yeah. It's very good. It's very exciting. Um, so if you haven't seen it, it's about an oil rig out in the ocean. Don't want really to say about it. One of the Wahlbergs is a star. Yep. And Kurt Russell, which we love. We're coming up to Christmas season. Kurt Russell has a Christmas movie that you got to see if you haven't seen it. It's it's on Netflix. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the name of it. but it's The Christmas Chronicles. Christmas Chronicles. It's very fun. enjoyable. It's very fun. Yeah, so that's coming up, although we don't have Netflix. And I don't think we're going to get it. I don't know. We, uh, we subscribed to Peacock just so we could see the... Uh, uh, Jurassic World Dominion. I'm glad we only paid two dollars for it too because I canceled it after that. I said if that's, it was overhyped and under under enjoyable. Okay, so that's scratched off. Okay, Carol McCorn and all that good stuff. I got all that done. Um, reading what well, we've been reading and we've been reading quite a bit. You yeah. finished up. <clears throat> I'm for currently reading The Whistler. Christian. Baldocki. Who is it? It's one of the two. I think it's Grisham. I think it's Baldocki. Oh, you do? I don't know. I don't know. It's either because I love both of them, John Grisham or David Baldocki. It's called The Whistler, and it's a recurring uh, character. Her name is Lacey Underalls. Lacey, what is her? <laughs> Lacey something. And she's a, uh investigator for the Florida Judicial... Judicial. The Bureau of Judicial Review or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, and it's a good it's a good series mm -hmm. if you ha you know if you want to enjoy a good good read it it's it's good They're usually about three hundred pages or yeah, so. And I tend to gravitate towards <clears throat> John Sanford's. Yeah, you do. Well, yeah, they're good. Yeah, the Prey series mm -hmm. and and Michael Crichton and John Grisham and uh, Baldocki. And, and you're now reading Michael Connolly's. Uh, yeah, I just oh, uh, read a Michael Connolly's. Uh, story called The Gods of Guilt. It's part of the Lincoln Lawyer series. Very enjoyable. And yesterday afternoon, I read a Stephen, Stephen King's another author I like. I read a Stephen King novella, 131 pages called uh, Elevation. Elevation. And I was crying at the end. I said, <laughs> what's wrong? He says, it's just so sad. The man can write, I'll tell yeah, you. I mean, sometimes he gets pretty far out there, but he can write. Now, the Lincoln lawyer, just so they get a take, you know, they want reviews and that sort of thing. The Lincoln, and I haven't heard anything about this book that you've read. Yeah. He didn't tell me about the novella either because I said, don't, if it's that short, I don't want to know about it. What's the Lincoln, this one about? The Lincoln lawyer, uh, there's a movie out called The Lincoln Lawyer. And uh, it's about a fellow who practices law basically working out of his Lincoln, Lincoln, Lincoln Continental. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, for those of you who know Michael Conley, he is also the author of the Bosch uh, novel. Right. Uh, and this attorney is actually Bosch's brother-in-law or half-brother or something like that. But anyway, very, very interesting. And uh, I'd recommend it. Okay. Yeah. D okay, so that's yeah, the book I, review. That's, that's it. Yeah, and that's the next book I'm going to do. No, The Gods of Guilt was excellent. And unlike most novels you didn't have to wait till the last page where the bad guy goes through you know 80 pages of why i did it what i did that kind of thing it's developed in the plot of the story so that's a nice so can change. you just give them a quick recap no, of what, not, okay all right yourself. already you'll enjoy it okay and okay so i read the i'm reading the whistler he's reading whatever 
Um, and what's wonderful is we are checking these books out on our reader, you know, e-readers, yeah. free from the library, and yeah. they have an oh, amazing. Yeah. yeah, sometimes you know they have a limited number of copies of the e-books, and you have to uh, get yourself on a waiting list. But they usually come come available oh, sooner. Oh, much you think. sooner. Yeah. yeah. And um, so we are re really enjoying that because it is a free read. And if you and have a local uh, county library, which most of us do, check in. You can do it on your Nook. You can do it on an e-reader. You can do it on your phone. Uh, can you do that on your laptop? I don't see why not. Anyway, check it out. It's a wonderful free service that your library and your tax dollars mm -hmm. provide. All right, quick health update. <laughs> Whose? Both. Oh, yeah. Okay. God, my, my hip is absolute crap. Uh, I've been to the doctor, had x-rays, blood tests, everything. It's just I have so much arthritis and bursitis in the oh, hip that yeah. I'm having trouble sleeping, having trouble staying in bed, um, laying flat. So I uh, quite often end up on her lazy boy in the den, which helps me sleep. But it's difficult walking, getting up and down stairs, and we even recently had to cancel a, a luncheon with some our closest friends here in Portland because it was just too bad, hurt too Which much. Which is a bummer. So that's me. Um, this one here, she had her blood test and an oncology consult this week. She's doing excellently. Yeah, um, I am good. All the blood work looks all good. Right. So that's where we are, but she's feeling good. Mm -hmm. She tires out occasionally, especially on uh, uh, chemotherapy days, but uh, doing pretty good. Yeah, doing she good. is. She's a little. She's still a little dynamo. I married. And uh, my weaving. I've had people ask about my weaving, and I just took off a beautiful set of uh, fall mm -hmm. fall colors. Fall colors at kitchen towels. I was very pleased with how oh, they how well they turned out. And now I'm going to do, be doing a quick uh, load a load a quick um, set of earth colored uh, coffee coasters yeah. or mug rugs if you will so that's fun I always like to do this stuff because it's always great um, for gifts yeah you know, or we have people or I have people that'll contact me and uh, so you know who, I guess who wants them sweetheart so, I mean this went on and on and it was probably I'm still searching for a hobby I mean I love to read and I'm not walking a lot I'd like to do photography but the problem is you have to get somewhere to uh, take the pictures and uh, well you have to hike in yeah the other day when we went to the farm store we had hoped to drive out to Sovi Island which is this island uh, just north of Portland it's beautiful out there and they have a giant well lots of giant farms mm -hmm. out there but I couldn't do it my hip just yeah. wouldn't so we wouldn't take that ride so didn't we we did about what a quarter of that ride to the farm store oh, about 15 minutes 20 minutes yeah. it wasn't and so, anyway, um, <coughs> excuse me. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's it. It was not a not. This wasn't a barn burner. This wasn't a big happy woo one. But it was, sometimes they're going to be that way. We hope everything is a okay in your world. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. We are just so appreciative uh, that you're here with us. We just think, oh, honey. <coughs> I'm choking on nutritional yeast. Thank um, you very much. Anyway, I think we're just we yeah, we just think it's great that you're here. Life with is us. good. Life is good, and we're. I will say it. We are glad that you are on this crazy ride that we call. Come on, I know it. Chill for a day. Well, that's life. Life. Take care, everybody. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.